Hi, it's Christy Ritzking with The Right Hand Mom, and on today's Talkie Talk Tuesday, we're going to talk about uh, summer schedules. So yesterday I wrote a post about how I plan to play more with my kids this summer, and um, that is the truth, but that said, I've learned the hard way that we need to have some sort of um, schedule, or else it gets to be a little bit chaotic, and people start fighting, and it's just ugly. So... I have learned over the school year that they are ready, willing, and able to do more to help around the house, and they're pretty anxious for um, uh, allowance. So this year, one of the things that we're doing, yesterday we spent all day sort of cleaning out closets and sorting toys and making some bags for Goodwill and things like that, both clothes and toys. And today we're going to get our schedule set, and it's a group effort. I have, you know, it's a sort of a, a benevolent dictatorship, but I do allow them to have some input on what we're going to do and what the chores um, schedule will be. So I have this chart. I'm going to cover my face for a second and show you. Chore chart. And it's got, you know, what they need to do down this side and then days of the week. And they check it off at the end of every night before bed. So we list, each kid gets one, and we list what they're going to do. And the first part is sort of the daily, everyday chores that everybody has. Make your bed, brush your teeth, pick up your clothes, put toys away, things like that that are just expected as members of the household. And then we add every summer a few extras that are sort of what I call big kid chores. You know, my son brings the garbage cans in. My daughter is now starting to do her own laundry. The little one, I maybe we'll have him sweep the floor. Something that are chores that are uniquely theirs that they have to do every day. And those are the ones that they actually earn their allowance for. The other ones are just, you know, you're a member of this house. These are the things you do as a member of this house. Um, but they check them off at the end of every night, and that's sort of their bedtime ritual is check to make sure everything's done, and then they can go and read before bed. So that's our chore chart, and an allowance is based on those. Uh, they get paid bi-monthly, just like mom and dad. <laughs> so they get little paychecks when we get paychecks, and that works both for our financial purposes and also for them to sort of learn that, you know, you do, you do the work, you get paid for it on this kind of schedule. So um, I'd love to hear your ideas, what you do for summer schedules, what you do for chores in your house, uh, and the comments below. Remember, if you like what you see, subscribe to the YouTube channel and subscribe to this blog because we do these once a week. Have a great summer.